Good morning from debarkation day. We decided to skip our like scheduled breakfast at 1923 and just go do a continental breakfast in the concierge lounge because it was like a half an hour later. So instead of getting to breakfast at 6.45, we could get, bre get to breakfast between 7.15 and 8.15. So it's about 7.20 right now. So we're about to head out the door. We're just packing up the last few things. It was so nice to sleep in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that extra half an hour. What did you guys think of that time lapse? Yeah, it was cool, Coming right? into the port, wasn't that amazing? I liked it. Yeah. What lapse? I think we, I, I vote to have more time lapses. Okay. Yeah. Jackson had a hard time waking up this morning because... I think we all did. Yeah, I think we all had a hard time waking <laughs> up this morning. Yeah, for the most part, we've got everything packed up. There's the port back there. You guys can't see it, but... There it is back there. So, yeah. Say goodbye to this room right now. This is the last cruise we can do for a while. Boo. <laughs> okay, but here's one more look at the room before we leave. We were able to get a diaper genie. We got Jackson's bed rails. He loved this bed. The comforter is so like nice. It feels like you're at home. We never actually used the veranda. <laughs> I did. Oh, for the time lapse we did. Yeah. yeah. Um, we sat here and ate a few times, never used any of these things, and uh, yeah, oh, I love this bed. This bed was so comfortable. Oh, no. Are you going to be okay? Oh god. I'm not stuck. What's going on here? Uh -oh. How do I get stuck? Oh. Oh, no, no. Me neither. Oh, no, Jackson. Alright, so now we're going to okay. head down to the lounge. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I don't want to go home. Alright, bye bye room. You've been good. We'll see you mm -hmm. again one day. Maybe we'll see a different room one day. <laughs> All right, last trip down these fun stairs right here. And into the concierge lounge. Let's see what we've got for a continental breakfast here in the concierge lounge. We've got some double smoked salmon, charcuterie, fresh fruits, cut fruits, parfaits, muesli, hello. Cran apple smoothie. Oh, they have cereal that's already doled out into mm. bowls. We got all brand Rice Krispies, Frosted Flakes, Granola, Fruit Loops, Frosted oh, Flakes. Was that Mickey? Dr. Mickey here. What's I he saying? So much for sitting with us. Are you okay there, bud? Are you falling asleep? I don't want to go. Oh, I know. No, I can try one of those things. Yeah, you can try one of those pink things. Sorted dishes. It's a plum. Oh. And apples. All right, here's kind of our a little bit of our spread. We've eaten some things already. Let me ask you something. What? <clears throat> Somebody was up there getting this item back here. Is this the muesli? The muesli. But they call it muesli. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm saying it wrong. I don't I know. I think muesli has an X at the end of it. No. I think it does. And I think this is muesli. I think they know what you mean if you say it the other way. <laughs> okay. So one of the perks of concierge is you get express, like, debarkation. But that ended at 8.15, it's about 8.30 right now. We, came, we went to the bathroom, I took Jackson to the bathroom, and then I came back and everybody was gone. Right. And I was like, oh no, we missed it. Yeah, we just barely missed it. <laughs> they just finished doing it. Because I had to run downstairs and pat top off my, oh, you want to stay here forever? I had to <laughs> give the tips to the servers and everything from last night. Yesterday, Jen was saying that there was a Sven Sipper, and I was like, no, it's just a regular reindeer, like a Santa reindeer. But then... I see one here. Maybe she was looking at this one. I didn't even see this one last time. The news was we found Mariana and she is giving us an express walk off. And Mickey and Pluto are telling us bye bye. As you diss him, don't So yeah, this is definitely one of the biggest perks right here is doing express walk off and express embarkation too. All right, about nine o'clock and we've made it. Everything's packed up. We're leaving. That is a really nice perk though to be able to sleep that little bit extra. Um, yeah. yeah, you sure can. But yeah, we're a little bit more rested this time, which is nice. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Yeah, feels good. It's pretty wild that people bring their RVs. Oh yeah. And park them at the terminal. Oh, buddy. I want to show the ship. Can I show everybody the ship? It's the last time we're going to see it for a while. Yeah. yeah. You know why, buddy? Yeah. Why? Your baby brother is going to be born. Yeah. yeah, so we can't cruise anymore because the baby is too big. We have to wait until your your baby brother is six months old. And then we can cruise again. Hi. All right, so see you later, Wish. We'll see you one day again soon. But right now I want to. <laughs>
Right now you want to? Me I too, we bud. To, Me too. Everybody, when we were getting off the ship, everybody was like, we don't want to leave. It was too short. It was too short. Yeah. I think that is a, a, a product of that half a day in the beginning too. Well, we'll talk more about it when we get home, but yeah. we have some thoughts for sure. Also, it's so interesting to see Rapunzel on the ship there because when we saw her from Arendelle that one day when we looked out the window, she looked huge. But when you look at her from over here looking at the ship, she looks so tiny. Yeah. The wish just looks so huge from this angle. Well, you should have seen it when I was down at the bottom. Also, one day I'll get to go parasailing. One day. But there it is. We'll see you in about a year. Maybe. I wish. I wish we could see you sooner. All right, it's our tradition. When we get back from the cruise, we get a car wash. I can smell it in here. No. <laughs> it smells like cereal. Cereal? Yeah, like like Fruit Loops or something, like sugary cereal. Huh. And cleaner. Sweet cleaner. What do you think, bud? Yeah. We did it, bud. Yeah. Car's clean, no more salt water. It's so strange. There are so many people at the car wash getting their car wash today. Is this like the time? Is Monday so. morning the time to wash your car? Like it's jam packed. The line to get in was so long. It's, it's Memorial Day or something, right? Oh, is it a holiday? I think so. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what it is. So we are back home. It's actually a few days later. We've had time to process our time on the wish for our very merry time cruise. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to go over the stuff that we got because we did get a few things. We got some souvenirs. I feel like as we take these trips, we get less and less souvenirs. Right. Because you, as a Disney fan especially, you tend to collect things. A lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, and we have a lot of stuff. So uh, we didn't get very many things, but I, I like the things we got. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing that we got that is specific to the very merry time cruise What's this shirt for Jackson? And this is, it says, all aboard for holiday fun. And it's got Goofy and Mickey and Minnie and Pluto and Donald and Daisy all singing. Well, most of them are singing a Christmas carol, except for Donald. He's not having a good time. What's He's he like, doing? this sounds terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> so this one was for Jackson. This one was twenty four ninety nine. So the very merry like merchandise, they didn't have people. I didn't think that the resellers were going to be on the cruise. Right. But they like everything was gone like, yeah. by the first day. Well, and I everything. don't even know if that was all resellers. I just don't think they had very much of it. And people are like, yeah, I'll take it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because when I asked if they were going to be getting anything else, the guy goes, are you on back to back? Like, are you going to be on the next cruise? And I was like, no. And he's like, oh, then this is it. Right. So I know that it, from what it sounded like, they do restock for the following cruise. Which doesn't make sense to me. Why? Because why wouldn't you just, I guess there's limited space. I was going to say, just do a big order at the beginning of the season. Right. And then reorder as you run out. I don't know. But I, I did see, just... well, I saw their stock room for Mickey's main sale and it's very tiny. Right. Like it's, it's really not big and it doesn't just hold the mer the shirts. Like it holds everything. Right. So it makes sense that they wouldn't be able to hold everything. Right. So, and it also gives a chance for following cruises to also get the merch. Right. So I get, I understand, but I was just like, oh, ding dang. Um, so that and this cup, I got a Tervis tumbler are the only things that I got that are Christmas themed or holiday themed. And I like this a lot. I like the tall Tervis tumblers. Mm -hmm. This one was $29.99. And I think we could get this shore side too. But you think? I okay. think so because, With yeah, because it's the same as we could get that spirit jersey shore, shore side too. But it doesn't say Disney Cruise Line. This doesn't either. It has the cruise line. Oh no, right that there. the spirit jersey said Disney Cruise Line on the back of it. Not shore side. Yeah. No, it said Disney World. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we saw some people wearing it at the Christmas party, and it was the exact same print, but the back said Disney Walt Disney World, not Disney Cruise Line. Gotcha. Somebody on the cruise told me that we could get a shore side, so I'm just going off what they said. So I'm not sure if you can get this shore side, but it doesn't specifically say Very Merry Time Cruise. It just is a holiday Disney Cruise service. Yeah. So, but if you're on the cruise and you see it and you like it, I would get it. I walked into Mickey's main sale and I saw one Yeah. and I picked it up and was walking around with it as I perused around. Everybody's like, oh, where'd you get that cup? Where'd you get that cup? I was like, it was the only one and I grabbed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so I got this and I like it a lot. It's very cool. And I'm going to drink from it on Christmas day. Those are the two very merry pieces of merch that we bought. Right. I do wish that I had been able to get the shirt that we got Jackson because I do like that shirt. But they were all gone. Oh. So we did get a couple of other things that were not 
very merry time. They were just wish merch. Yeah. So this is a shirt for me. And this is one that I hadn't seen before. And what does it say on it? It says, never stop wishing. And it's like, I, I think it's cool. It's like a vintage looking print. It's also really soft. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And this was $29.99. And it does say Disney Wish on it too, down here. So... This was from the Dory's Forget-Me-Nots. Yeah. That's a, a good place. If you're looking for t-shirts specifically, that's a good place to go. It's a cool shirt. I like it. Okay, so the last cruise that we went on before we did the Very Merry Time, the Halloween cruise, I saw this frame. Can they see it? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh man, I really, really want to get it. And I totally forgot to grab it before we left the last cruise. This was $29.99. But all of them had some kind of paint defect, whether it was like, chipped or had like a weird paint smudge or like i just you know, they all had something kind of wrong with them so I, I had to go through every single frame and this is the one that i found that was like the least kind of messed up so um keep that in mind when you're looking for the frames just take a quick look at it make sure it's not chipped a lot of them were chipped it does look like it was hand painted though yeah i mean i like it i think it looks like you know it has character oh so i'm i'm a fan but I can't wait to put, we have so many frames that we need to add pictures to. So I can't wait to add a picture to this frame. Yeah. Um, five years from now. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, I really like the frame. I thought it was cool. I like that it has Mickey and Minnie as captains and Minnie is wearing her captain's pants. So then I asked, at, when I was at Mickey's main sale, I asked, do you have any other frames? They had a lot of frames that were like magnets for your fridge but our oh. fridge isn't magnetic right the sides so, are but the front isn't yeah so i was like oh that's kind of a bummer i wish you guys had more frames and then he goes oh wait there is one more and he pointed out this frame this frame was 37 dollars, and i thought it was kind of cool it would go really well with jackson's bedroom because he does have like a nautical themed room so this is it looks like a ship and then it has three kind of like porthole frames like three port like round places to put pictures oh yeah and it's like wood grain it's nice yeah so i was like oh this will look really nice in jackson's room and we can put some like fun memories um you know pictures of some fun memories in there and this was not wish specific it's just a disney cruise line frame i think it'll look nice in his room so i am excited and i'm gonna let him pick out the pictures okay so he can say i want this picture in my room so the rest of the stuff that we got is stuff that was kind of included in our cruise or maybe just like memories from the cruise our server and our assistant server did these little like origamis yeah and i'll put a link to the full playlist of all of the videos from the cruise down below so you can see when jackson got these but glenn made him a little frog that jumps and a little fish that he had like on a um he put it on a straw yeah and it kind of like you Looks know like it's swimming around yeah so i thought that was really nice he even drew on it <laughs> so i don't know yeah. i thought yeah i do think that that's one thing that they're really good with the kids yeah and i, I can't speak to other cruise lines because we've only done disney but they're they're just so good with like jack they were so good with jackson yeah so that was awesome so we're gonna save these and then, so another guest on the cruise gave us this Merry Christmas button and it says Disney Wish on it and it has the Disney Cruise Line logo on it and it looks like a life ring. But this was something that a guest made. This wasn't something you could purchase on the ship. But that's one thing that um, is really neat about Disney fans on Disney cruises is that they will have like the Disney, the, the, the ducks. The cruising ducks? Yeah, like they give out little ducks that are, you know, like themed to the cruise or just like fun little rubber duckies they'll give them out to the kids or they'll hide them around the ship yeah uh you know people have pins people have stickers it's just like a big i don't know like a big cruise family and everybody is um really kind and generous and it's yeah. i don't know it's awesome i like the community of the disney cruisers yeah you know and if you're interested in finding out if these things are happening on your cruise try to search for your cruise specific on Facebook. Yeah, like the date that you're cruising. Yeah, because usually there will be a Facebook group devoted to your date specific on whichever ship you're at, leaving out of whatever port. Yeah. And then you can get together with other people on the cruise. Maybe you'll meet a new friend that you mm -hmm. can hang out with on the cruise. Maybe you'll set up a uh, like a gift exchange. Oh yeah, for the fish extenders and yeah. stuff. But yeah, I, I, I do, I love the community of the Disney cruisers. It's yeah. really like a, a fun, welcoming community. So another thing that Tim was very excited about, and I was very excited because I knew that you were really wanting to do these things. Yeah. I 
am a winner. <laughs> so if you do trivia on the Disney Cruise, mm-hmm. you could have the chance of winning this specific medal. And now the question is, this is my first time ever winning trivia. Mm-hmm. And I've never had the chance to get a good look at the, the medal that you win on other cruise ships. So Captain Minnie is the captain of the Disney Wish. Yeah. Well, and this the, is Captain Minnie. She's the captain of all of them, isn't she? No, I think Mickey's the captain of some of them. Oh. I think the Disney Wish is the first one that she is solely the captain of. Okay. So are these specific to the Disney Wish? I don't know. Because it has Captain Minnie on it and they're red. Hmm. I'm trying to think if the other ones are blue. I, I don't know. We've never won trivia on another cruise. Right. Yeah. And We've tried. So I was very excited to have won this and I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> if we go on more cruises, I'm going to try it again and again and again. Okay. Yeah, do it. It's fun. So the other thing that I did, and a lot of people had questions about this, was the Castaway Key 5K. Mm -hmm. And originally, this 5K was an organized event where everybody would get together and leave the ship at the same time and everybody would start at the same time and you could get your time at the end of it and everything. No matter what, if you walked it, ran it, anything, you still got a medal. Now, it's not organized at all. I don't know when that changed. It might have been the pandemic. I think it was. Well, no. So I read in a comment, and I don't know how true this is, but that people were using the 5K to get better seats on the island. Oh, so they so, would say they were doing the 5K and then just go over and get a seat. Right, and go over and get like, because you would, you would leave the ship early if you were doing the 5K before any of the other guests who were not doing the 5K. And then they would go and they would grab like, you know, like the primo spots. Oh. And so like they would throw their stuff down, you know, and then go run the 5K. And I think that that is what ended the organized 5K. And that's, don't quote me on that, but that was, um, a few people actually left that comment. So I'm just going by that. And some people also asked how I found out about it. I have no idea. It was just like in the ether of Disney cruising. I think it was like people tweet about it. People talk about it on Instagram. And then it's like, oh, I want to do that. I think it's like a word of mouth thing. Right. Kind of like right now, like you're learning about it. If you you didn't already know, you're learning about it now, you know? I will say there is one organized Castaway Key 5K coming up. Very difficult to do and very difficult to get into because it is the weekend of the marathon. So the idea is that you run the marathon or you run all of the races that weekend. Mm -hmm. Then you get on a cruise ship, go to Castaway Key and run that 5K. Oh, and that adds to your... That adds to your medal count. And that is the only time that it's... So this is like a... It's like a rubber medal. Like it's bendy and it's 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 not a full like metal medal. Mm -hmm. But the one for that weekend is a specific metal metal. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And so, I will also say that the course, somebody had told me that you had to do that tower loop twice. Mm-hmm. If I hadn't known that, I probably wouldn't have gone back down that tower loop and done a full 5K, which I'm sure a lot of people don't. Oh, okay. Because it's not marked coming back from the end of the runway. Gotcha. So you, you leave the sign like I showed, and then you go out, and then you go down. There's a little side loop off the side of the runway that goes to the observation tower, and then you go to the end of the runway, and then you come back, observation tower loop again, then mm-hmm. back to the sign. And I think a lot of people miss that second loop through the observation tower area. Gotcha. So. But you did it. You ran a full 5K. You got your medal. And, and if you are interested in getting the medal, make sure that they have them in stock. If that's like a deal breaker for you, like running the race. Right. If you want to make sure you get the medal, just ask and make sure they have them. And then also at the gift shop right there at the start of the 5K, they have a Castaway Key 5K merch too. There's a lot of 5K merch. Yeah. Which I thought was really interesting because there were so many questions about it. So many people didn't even know it was a thing. And now, but they have a ton of merch for it. Right. So. Shirts yeah. that say, I did it. Yeah. Shirts of Mickey running, shirts of Minnie running. You can definitely like rep your, your 5K-ness. Yeah. Who do you tell that you ran it? There's a little, the bike rental hut right there. Oh, you go to the bike rental. That's where you get the medal. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of people asked. Um, there's no official start time. There's no official. You just you get on the island. You run the course that Tim was just talking about or walk or, you know, you don't have to run whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you go to the bike rental hut when you're done and you say, I did it. 
and that's it. There's right. no like fanfare. There's no. There's no official time. There's no officiators. Yeah, you're not going to see probably a bunch of other people doing it with you. Like people were saying. Well, no, there are a lot of people that do it. Well, no, but people were saying, was Tim the only one running? I didn't see anybody else running around you. It's not that kind of race. Right. Because it's there's no official start time. But I did see other people on the course doing the 5K. I saw yeah. like a little four-year-old running it too. Oh, that's fun. So. Yeah. Because it's not a timed thing, and you could literally take all day to walk this 5K. Yeah. A lot of people take it as like an introduction to racing. Mm, okay. So. So there you go. I feel like that's a pretty good amount of information about the 5K if you want to try it on your, on your next cruise. Yeah. Yeah, you should do it. Yeah. And then the next thing that we got that was one of the things that was included in the cruise was, and this is something that I think is really neat that the entertainment team does, is if they have a unique uh, interaction with you, they might give you one of these magic moment cards. And this one's for Jackson for having a little fishing trip with Goofy. Yeah. When he was asking, when I said, what do you think, or what does Goofy want for, for Christmas? And Goofy's like, I need a new fishing pole. Mm -hmm. And then Jackson was all excited to ask Santa for a new fishing pole for Goofy. Yeah. And Goofy really enjoyed that interaction. So Goofy left Jackson this magical moment card. I think it's really fun when, especially for the kids, when the characters kind of recognize how how special the interaction was right you know and then it's also neat too because you could get this framed next to the photo of like jackson meeting goofy and talking about yeah. a fishing rod i do want to get a um like a scrapbook of yeah. these because we have so many of these things now like the the frog and the fish from dinner the magical moment things like there are so many things like that that we've co sort of collected with all of these cruises i want to do a scrapbook yeah for, i think jackson would really like that like later later on when he's older and then the last thing that we got for, and this is something that every guest thing concierge gets, is this, I don't know, you would call it a print, I guess. And you can see this one has all five ships on it. So the wish is represented in this one. Um, and it says Captain Mickey and Captain Minnie's Magical Fleet. And so when you're staying concierge, just on like the last day, you get a little envelope with this in it. And we did get a lot of questions about staying concierge. So uh, the main question that we want to answer is a lot of people asked, is it worth it on the wish? Because I think there's been a lot of talk about it not being worth it on the wish, just based on other people's cruise videos and cruise blogs and just opinions of their cruise. And uh, what do you think? I will preface this with saying this ship has more concierge rooms than any other ship. Okay, and also preface it by saying that we did a short cruise. Right. We did a weekend cruise. So here's my deduction. If you are doing a Friday through Monday cruise, mm -hmm. and it is a themed cruise, very maritime, Halloween on the high seas, Star Wars day at sea, Pixar day at sea, Marvel day at sea, I wouldn't do concierge. I do feel like we wasted money. Right. I, I do. I've never felt that way on a concierge cruise before, but this cruise, I do feel like we wasted money. Right. Yeah. Number one, the lounge is huge and you don't get the same personal experience that you got on the other ships. Like they, when we cruised concierge on the dream and the fantasy, because it is such a small lounge and there are so few rooms, they knew your name. They knew what you liked to drink. They knew Jackson's name. Like it was very, you knew everybody's names. Yeah. It was definitely a different experience. Right. Um, so during this cruise, I only got to really talk to one of the concierge hosts mm -hmm. and uh, she didn't know my name. She just knew that I was in concierge. Yeah. And uh, it just didn't feel as personable. However, there are more perks to concierge on the wish than there are on the other ships. But I also want to just add to what you said that they, the cast members were fantastic. Yeah. Like they can't, I can't fault them for like not knowing our names because there are so many people in concierge. They were doing the best they could possibly do. They were, do, they were great, but it still just didn't feel the same. Right. If and that makes sense. But also, it's not, not like their fault. Also, we didn't have any issues on this cruise. No, no. And I feel like a lot of people did have issues on this cruise because it was shortened. Yeah. And we had a day at sea instead of going to Nassau. And there were just people had a lot of questions for them. Yeah. So they were dealing with other people and we just didn't have the interactions yeah. with them. Yeah, they weren't. Yeah. <laughs> but also because it was a very maritime cruise, we were focused on seeing the, the, the holiday offerings. Yeah, we really, really were not 
focused on spending our time in concierge. I really think we only had like one sit down breakfast mm -hmm. and then our last day right. when we left that morning. So we just didn't spend a lot. I never even got to hang out on the deck. Right. Like my whole thing was, is I wanted to have like an afternoon to just spend on the deck in like the plush chairs, drink a Dole Whip, sit in the little, you know, sitting pool. And I didn't have time to do any of that. Right. So I really, I think that's the main reason why I felt like it was a waste of money. Right. Now, I think that that could change. Like, I think that would be different if it was a Monday through Friday cruise and there wasn't a theme to the cruise. If oh. it was just a generalized cruise. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. And I did appreciate the concierge room. Yeah. Like that was, um, the room is beautiful. The deck, like the decor is beautiful. I, I liked having the extra bit of space. I loved the bathroom. So it definitely, there are some perks to the room itself. Yeah, and the other thing that I didn't like about staying concierge was the elevator situation. So we were on the 13th floor forward, or 13th deck forward. Mm -hmm. And the way that the elevators are separated out, there's eight in the front and eight in the back. And only four in the front go up to deck 13. Right. And there's no way to choose, like, I'm going to deck 13. Push the up button. You push the up button, and if the four that are not going to deck 13 open, you just got to push the up button again and wait for the ones that are in the front to open. Right, yeah. And I know the elevator situation is, like, a divisive topic. Some people um, get upset when we talk about it. So I, I, I don't know, I don't want to go too much into it, but it's, it's definitely, um, can it cost you a little bit of time, if uh, that makes sense. So the main takeaway for our concierge stay, for me personally, is that I wouldn't do it again on the Wish unless it was a longer cruise, and I wouldn't do it again if it was another themed cruise. Right. So that's my takeaway. But I am glad that we did it, and I'm glad that we got the experience. So now we know. Yeah. So... There you have it. That has been our very merry time cruise on the Disney Wish. Uh, a little bit of a strange cruise yeah. <laughs> because of the hurricane and everything. Right, but yeah. we still had a good time. Oh, I had a lot of fun. I think all of the Christmas offerings really made up for just the issues in the beginning. You know, right. like it was definitely very magical. We had a lot of really great experiences. My favorite video from this cruise was the day that we met Santa and we had the character dance party and... You know, we got to hear Mrs. Claus tell the story. I think that was just, I think that made the whole cruise experience for me. Yeah. And I enjoyed it being a little bit different too. Yeah. It was nice like, to have a different experience. Yeah. I liked seeing the sail away party inside mm -hmm. shortened from yeah. Castaway Key. It's nice when you, when you do the cruises, because we have done quite a few cruises this year. So to be able to have a... Um, unique experience is uh, pretty fun. I am sad that we can't cruise until, you know, the baby is six months old. Yeah. So but, we will cruise again. It just won't be for a while. Yeah. Yeah. But all in all, it was a fantastic <laughs> cruise. And with that being said, we are off. And we will see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Bye.